Me, I'm cold. I don't know how you guys are not cold. I have a camera. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this. Ow! What? Mommy, you stepped on me. Did you step on me? Say I'm stepping on you. Mm -hmm. Every time I try to avoid the, the bubbles, I must dance. Bobby! Yeah? The bubble was going this way! Yes, no. go outside, go outside. <laughs> what the heck? I want to know Eva, are you not cold? I don't know what you do here like that. Are you not cold? I'm not cold. I'm are you sure? Yeah, somehow I'm not cold. Yeah, I even thought it would be cold. Where are the thorns? Now I like the fact that we can now step here without feeling like glassy grass. One of them poked. Oh wow! One of them poked. Jeez, these are real thorns, though. We need to uproot it. Don't approach. Like remove it from the roots, not just remove it. Remove from the roots. Oh yeah, because if you, if you just cut it, it will grow back. Hi guys, so today is Saturday. I just finished filming. Looking like a princess, looking like a snack. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> I have with me here. Hi! This is me and this is my sisters. Yes. We can't see. We can't see. Let's, let's move this. I said people will come back. And everyone is happy. I yeah, move back like this. Oh wait. Oh, I, I see why. It needs to. Oh, wow. I reduced small. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to my mommy's channel. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, Sophia is not showing. Hi guys. Welcome Hi to guys. My... Today, welcome, welcome Daddy to my... is do using to. Daddy is moving the grass. Cotton. He's cutting Daddy's the grass. Daddy's a mower. So, you guys, Woo! let me show you how I look. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Let me show you how I normally dress when I film hair videos, right? So, you know, the hair is there, the out, the top is there. Then I always wear these shorts, this raga raga shorts. <laughs> So, I always wear these shorts because you guys will not see it down now, you only see it from here. So, so I ordered some things from H&M and they just arrived. Sophia! Oh, Sophia. No, this is not Sophia. This is Sophia. Ava! No, Sophia. No, this is your own now, 9 to 10. Yeah. Everybody, go and try it. Guys, I'm going to explode. This is Ava. Guys, I'm going to explode. Ava, go and try this. I'm going to explode. I'm going to explode. Sophia, go and try this. So my kids have this in the pink. I don't know if you guys know this outfit. And Sophia does not have because I had to give Sophia's own to Kosi, my niece. You know, Sophia had a she didn't really outgrow it, but I just gave it. I don't know if I gave it to Kosi. I hope I gave it to Kosi. Did I give Kosi this dress? Yes, you did. I hope I gave it to her. I don't know. I feel like I didn't give it to her again. But anyway, so I had to now buy it again for Sophia. But I now bought this color. No, okay, I actually bought two for Sophia. I bought that color that um, Cora and Eva have. <laughs> Look at my dress! Look at my dress! Wait, wait, wait. 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 Okay, let's go in line to show each, each of our dresses. Eva, stand here. Sophia, stand in the front. You're going to show the dress. Can you guys see one? Yeah, it's looking weird now. <coughs> So first one is a bit big oh. So I should have bought through to size. I actually bought four to five for her. And this four to five is looking big. <laughs> so this is another one. So, so you come and change. Is this is it. Mm. Is this the one you could have? Yes. I so. Yes, it is. What the one one is this? Yes, so remove that one and wear this one. <coughs> no, this color looks slightly different from the one you could have. Are you yeah. sure? It looks slightly different. Slightly. Let me go bring my own dress. Yeah. It's slightly different from their own. Your own has more of orange than their own, but let them come, they will see. But it's fine. Hey, yeah. yeah, 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 it's slightly different. Oh, it's actually slightly different. Not we slightly. have green. Yes. Yeah, but she doesn't. Yeah. That's but... the only difference. It's... Hmm, 
Everybody, Hi, we are Prince Eva. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm the Eva. princess of this kingdom. It was Clara that made me buy this, this dress again in different styles. Because Clara told me, please, let's just buy another one for her, please. And I had to buy for three of them again. <laughs> so now they all have two, two of it. But I like it. It's a very nice summer dress. Eva has a wish. Eva has a wish. Yes. You, what do you have? I have orange. Super high. I have pink. I think it's not a girl. It's like a, a shirt it's dress. A Shut up. So also from H&M. This is mommy's size. I hope it's my size. Let me go and try it. Guys, just ignore this thing that you see here. Eh? Just ignore it. Pretend like it is jewelry. <laughs> Pretend like it's jewelry, but look at it. No pockets. What was not the point? Okay, have the dress. Drop it here. Come on, can let's see the full outfit. So this is the full outfit. I have something on the way that is much but I like it. I like it. I'm a queen. Mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish it had pockets, but you know, it's nice. Imagine, let's say you're used to pockets. They have different colors, they have it. I wish I can just remove this so you guys can see it. Anyway, they have it in white and black by body blue because you know all colors fit me, Sha. So I don't have any color that doesn't work with my skin tone, but blue is very nice. I like blue a lot, so that's why I bought this one and I like it. And even though I like the fact that the arms are not even tight, even though I'm wearing long sleeve underneath, the arms are still comfortable. I like it. So I ordered this in XL. XL is for size 18 to 20 in regular sizing. So I got this in XL and it fits good. I like it. Um, hello, all of you. No, come and arrange the kitchen, okay? All these guys, okay, daddy will put it, remove his boxes, but see your clothes, I just bought you new clothes for you people now. They are on the floor. I will return it. Where's the package? Let me pack it, pack it back. I'm returning it. Give me, pack everything back into the nylon. Eva, I like this your own so much. Oh. I like this. Eva is like pink and gold. And gold. Which I like. And mine is crazy. Yeah. So what we need now that everybody needs is jean jacket. Sophia has jean jacket. Cora and Eva need jean jacket. And then we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. This is it, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia is so happy. Sophia likes dresses. New dress. Sophia, in fact, if you want to make Sophia's day, just buy her new dress. So today is Saturday and I'm going to be making these children's hair. I'm going to be taking down their hair and making a new one. Or oh, actually, I might not make a new one today. I might, I might just wash, condition, detangle, all those things. So next week, I can now make it or not like I was I will wash everybody's hair today, right? Condition it and detangle it. Then from tomorrow, I'll be choosing one day for one child. So is it I'll do... Maybe I'll do Cora's zone tomorrow since Cora's hair cannot really stay without being made. I'll do Cora's zone tomorrow, do Sophia's zone on on Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday people have dentist appointments. On Monday, Sophia is going to school. So I'll do Sophia's zone on Wednesday. Then I can do Ava's zone next week, Friday. Anyway, I'll figure out how I'm going to get it done. My husband is going to work today. He usually doesn't work on weekends, but... He didn't really work during the week. Like he was working from home during the week. And he said it's because this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, he has to 
he has to go and attend to some things at work so he's already dressed he's even wearing native which i like it looks good uh you guys the time now is currently 6 58 and this child has been awake for at least one hour and at this point i am really tired of it like i don't know why somebody cannot just sleep and you sleep or slept late so i don't know why someone cannot just sleep on saturday and just sleep long enough i don't like it it's actually stressing me too in fact part of why we woke up was because well my husband woke up to get ready for work and then he now told me Cora is downstairs and I had to wake up like I had to stand up from the bed because I was like oh since she's already awake let me start doing her own hair but no sleep is actually very important I wish I had the opportunity to just sleep as long as possible like I really I literally wish because last night I slept around you know past 12 or something I wish I could just sleep as long as possible so it pains me to see somebody that has the opportunity to sleep as much as I want and the person is busy doing what I don't know but anyway, we move. Um, so, ah, but how are you guys doing? Happy Saturday. I normally day I've done um, live today, but it's not even going to be possible because I have so much to do. So from next week, I'll resume. I can't even do next week either. I can't even do next two weeks. So maybe next month, I will resume doing my lives. I actually enjoy doing that live. I, I like the fact that, you know, we just gist and talk and cover important subjects. And then after I'm done, that's it. No editing, no editing, no nothing. Everything is done. I like it, you know. Yeah, I like having such conversations with you guys. I enjoy it. Hey guys, so I'm almost done with Cora's hair, but the biggest problem I'm having here is that I'm so tired. I've been yawning and I have a bit of cough, kata and sore throat. So it's just been, I feel like just going to lie down basically and just sleep, which and I might still do. We can say hi. This is not Kakeki Dandan. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted. I'll give you my progress reports. But I feel like I'm going to finish Cora's hair because normally I'll lose everybody's hair, then wash everybody's hair, then make everybody's hair. But I think I'm going to finish Cora's hair. Like that is after after losing it now, I'll go and wash it. After washing it, I'll come back and make it. Then you know, move on to the next person. After that, you know, continue, continue. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do so that even if I don't finish. Let's say now, even if I finish only Cora's hair and I'm tired, at least Cora's hair is done, not half done, or not everybody having half done hair, which forces me to basically finish their hair. So, anyway, may we continue? Cora's no. hair has grown so much. Can you guys remember Cora's hair that I cut last year? Yeah. Are you guys, can you guys see the length? Her hair has grown so much. Are you happy? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. And Cora's hair is so thick, hair, so full. I've been losing hair for the past two hours. I'm not still done. Mind you, it was just weaving her. So full. Mommy, see, hair everywhere. Every inch of her, of her head, <laughs> of her scalp actually. Every inch of her scalp has hair and thick hair. What's up you guys? How you doing? Today is Wednesday. Um, yesterday was the day we went to the dentist. Um, nobody has any procedure again. Well, the kids don't have any procedure again till um, their yearly checkup. So November, I think. Yeah, I just joined them at school now and I am back home. I want to prepare that bolognese sauce. This sauce, I want to use it to prepare spaghetti for lunch today. 
but I need to just clear the kitchen a bit. I won't I won't prepare it now because it's too early. Time is just past nine. So I'll wait till maybe around one o'clock to prepare it and then when the kids come back from school they can eat it around maybe four or we eat it for dinner i'm not sure yet it just depends on how <laughs> it depends on my mood in the next 30 minutes or the next one hour you guys i'm just recovering from sore roots i don't even know if i'm fully recovered yet yeah, but i'm recovered in jesus name but i've been having sore roots um basically cough but not too much i've not been cough i've not really been coughing but i can just my throat is congested so sometimes i sound like a man especially in the morning it's not like i even you know i have deep voice on a normal day right <laughs> so i have deep voice on a normal day at least deep for a woman on a normal day then imagine now having throat infection or whatever this is if you hear me in the morning i sound like a smoker but yeah, I'm still trying to recover from it. And it's funny how we came to this country in winter and nobody had even as much as a sniffle, right? We didn't have any cold, everybody was fine. Only for the weather to become warmer and then now, I'm now catching this, okay? And it's even funny that I'm now, I'm now catching this after I started taking ginger shots every morning. So is it that the ginger shots made me have it or the ginger shots brought it out? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I think I know the real, I know the cause. What happened is that because the house was becoming, the weather was warm and the house was becoming too hot, I put off all the heater and then at night I opened the windows. So there was one night that the temperature dropped really low and I did not know. So I woke up in the morning very cold and I don't even sleep with clothes on. So I woke up in the morning very, very, very cold. So since that day, I've realized that I've, I've been having this thing. And every day, diligently, I take ginger shot, I take hot tea, I take honey, everything, and it's not going. I don't know if, it, if this is the one that qualifies for antibiotics, but I'm not going to just go ahead and take antibiotics, even though I have. By the way, all those medicines will say, make sure you take this, make sure you take that. Most of them are useless to me now, to be honest. All those malaria medicine that we took, I should have thought about this very well, that when I was in Nigeria, we never used to have malaria. So why is it now when I now get here that I will now have it? I remember someone was telling me then that I'll be already somewhere. I can't remember how I got that information. But that uh, sometimes when you come abroad, you know, your body will the, the malaria will come out. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But the, the point is, all the malaria medicine I brought, we've not used anyone. So all those things are just here and I'm sure they will soon expire. Then even um antibiotics. I wasn't even giving my kids antibiotics in Nigeria. In fact, in Nigeria, they will prescribe antibiotics for my children and I will not give it to them, okay? Especially when it's something that has to do with a viral infection, cold, cata, all those things. I wasn't giving my children antibiotics for it, okay? So, now I'm not asking myself, why did that guy start buying medicine? Like, anyway, um, before I talk too much, I want to wash plates. And I have a question for you guys. Let me just, let me get my tripod. You guys, I don't come on hand for anything we consign aesthetically pleasing house. Just look at what my children made me do for them. They actually did this by themselves initially. Then I now helped them to mount it well. Initially they tied it and the thing was looking somehow. So I now helped them to tie it well. So basically it's this. Wow, this guy has some. These blankets. They use it to block under the staircase and look at. Look at, wait, let me. Are you seeing how she's, she's one that rings inside here like this? Though. Like she's one that set everything up. Everything, see? She set everything up. Even her baby is sleeping. Hmm? Even her, her lamp. You want to bring Eva's lamp? Hmm? Hi, Sophia. Hi, Mommy. Are you enjoying yourself? What are you doing? I'm watching myself. I'm watching. I'm watching this. Okay. Your mates they go school. <laughs> Your mates they go school. You they do you they, you they do cozy corner. Sophia has gotten a slot in a preschool. So she's going to be starting preschool in September. Um, but she's going to be going to school three times a week because we chose three times a week because we are entitled to 15 hours of free childcare. I'm not really sure how that thing works, okay? I've asked about it. I've actually gotten answers. Shout out to Tochi. Um, what's her son name? Tochi. What's Tochi's channel name now? I've got her channel name. I'll leave, I'll leave it on the screen, right? I started watching her after I relocated and I love her content. I love how she teaches very well, how she explains things very well. I reached out to her 
a couple of times the first time was because i was having issues i didn't really understand how this youtube thing works like the tax and all of that then the second time was with this 15 hours thing and school and all of that so i reached out to her she took her time to explain to me first of all she answered me okay because i've reached out to other youtubers that did not answer me i mean i don't feel bad that they did not answer me i don't blame them because i know that there's a way dms can be sometimes a lot of people's dms if i'm not following you your dms go to requests right and if i don't go to request i will not sit and sometimes i just forget there's anything called request like i've never finished answering the ones that i'm even that i normally communicate with so going to those requests takes a while and sometimes i don't even go to those requests at all and you know people's messages will fly so i totally understand the youtubers that do not answer me but tochi took her time she answered me you know when somebody can explain like i've not met her before I don't know her personally, I only know her from YouTube, but I can just tell that she's a genuine good person <laughs> that, you know, wants to help and is genuinely, you know, trying to help you, okay? So, yeah, I really appreciated her help and she explained it to me and I thought I understood. I feel like I understand how it works, right? <laughs> but I'm still not sure whether I'm supposed to do anything because it's not in this my knowledge, right? I don't know if it is different for different places. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything special to be able, if I'm supposed to apply specially to be able to access those 15 hours. Although I'm going to the preschool on Friday, um, they called us to come and pick up some documents and stuff. So when I get there, I'll sit down and discuss with them very well. But before I go there, I want you guys to advise me if you have your kids in preschool or if you're in the school system here or your children have passed the school system here. Are there any questions you think I should ask specifically? I, I'll try and post this video as soon as possible so I can get answers. <laughs> and for the 15 hours, is it the school? Because I, I, I talked to someone else that told me that it's the school that applied for her. Like the school will apply for the 15 hours and access it, right? I don't know. I'm not sure how that thing works. So let me know if I'm supposed to do anything extra because she must start that school in September. And okay, so I chose three full days. So I'm going to pay for some hours because 15 hours is like two days and two and a half days or something like that or two and a half sessions or something like that right but i applied for three full days initially i wanted to do like the full um five days and just pay for the difference but my dear when i calculated it one day is like 45 it's not 45 or 65 pounds that's one full day is it a 45 or 65 pounds it's a lot of money right now we are paying about 36 pounds or almost 40 pounds for where she is but she goes only on mondays right and even that one feels very very expensive someone is walking on our street walking backwards yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay the person has a dog i thought i was say, oh, imagine somebody wearing hoodie just walking backwards on the street ah yeah so yeah so i can't even imagine paying extra let's say like 100 pounds or 100 and something pounds every week just so that she can go to school every day Mbao, i bet make her give me that money i don't get work <laughs> make her give me the money <laughs> so um i'm just hoping that you know we get the 15 hours we've checked and we know that we are qualified for it so hopefully we get the 15 hours if not ah then she will have to be with me until it's time for regular school but you know i'm just hoping because i feel bad for the child it's not even right now i don't i don't um have issues with her being at home like i'm very comfortable with her being ha at home i'm used to it now in fact i even like her being at home somehow uh, i'm used to it but for her own sake i want her to be going to school she's always she always feels left out when her sisters are going to school that's why i feel bad about it. And aside that, she's a very bright child. If she was in Nigeria, I'm sure that by now she would have been writing more, she would have been reading more. Even though we try to teach her, I try to teach her sometimes, her father tries to teach her sometimes, but the truth is that it's not the same because we're not putting as much, as, as much attention as school would, okay, or as her teacher would. You know, she just needs to be in that learning environment. Um, I know that she's on track for how school is here, but I like her to have that edge, okay? Because right now, Eva and Cora are superstars in their class, in their classes. The other day, Eva's teacher was telling me, first of all, if Eva's school, they just like parents' involvement too much. Like everything, come for this, come for that, come for this, come for that. I've gone to Eva's school more times than I've gone to any school anywhere. <laughs> I'm always coming for one thing or the other. So, 
um, Eva does not do math with her own class. She does it with another class, like a, a, a higher class. Um, so it's not that itself. It's not even a higher level. Is it a higher level? I think it's with grade two. I know the name of the class, so I'm not sure if it's grade two or another type of grade one. I don't know. So she does maths with them. So the teacher of that class now called me that that normally she's supposed to have 30 pupils, but because of Eva, she has 31 for her maths class in particular. So she would like me to come for the math something something something. So when I came there, they were now you know showing us the kind of things they are teaching the kids, how they are teaching them how to calculate and stuff like that. So she now called me and said I was talking to me, I was telling me that the truth is that Eva is, Eva, Eva's own is, for Eva they are teaching her in a backward way. Normally they teach kids how to arrive at answers using instruments, okay, so using things like beads, using things like, hey, what they call that, you know? Is it koi koi or laki laki or something? I've forgotten the name. It's like abacus, but it's not abacus. Hey, what they call the name? The name was so funny to me. Eh? Anytime they call the name, I'll just laugh. Is it tiki tiki or something like that? Anyway, um, yeah, so they teach the kids how to use it or beads or pebbles or, you know, sticks or dry apples or drawing fruit, how to calculate numbers, right? But in Eva's case, Eva can visualize the numbers in her head. So when you ask her like three plus, three plus four, Eva will tell you seven. So now they have to teach her how to. You know, you know the answer is seven, but you have to show working. Okay, so they have to teach her how to show working basically. Um, because of it, because of the way Eva is and the way uh, Cora is in school and they're doing well, I want Sophia to have that edge as well. I don't want her to just be normal like other students here. I know it's not a competition, please. This is, I'm not trying to compete with anybody. I know, please, whatever. <laughs> I'm not even that kind of person in normal day self, but. I just want it for my child. I just want her to, you know, be good, be very, very good, please. Because ah, uh, uh, I go, yeah. Anyway, so people have talked about getting lesson teachers and stuff. I've thought about getting lesson teachers for them as well. But again, that goes back to what I was trying to say that I'm not actually a very competitive person, and to be honest. I'm not someone who focuses too much on academics, okay? Like, I'm happy when they tell my children are doing well in school, oh, I'm not saying they should not do well, oh, I encourage them to do well. If Akora has won several awards on different things, you know, so they like to give awards a lot anyway, so it's, it's, not, it's not that much of a big deal, but I mean, I'm happy that she has won awards on different things, and there, there was a particular one that she won an award for, and I was very happy about it. Improvement in, not improvement, like, she's kind of she she takes her homework seriously or something like that but that's because i encourage her anytime she comes back from school anytime both of them come back from school and they eat and just do one or two things i always tell them have you read your book have you done your assignments have you done this one because i'm used to it that's how we used to do in nigeria so as much as all of that is true i feel like getting a lesson teacher is overkill i don't know why i'm struggling with the idea of getting a lesson teacher for them i feel like it's too much you try to go to school in the morning come back in the afternoon do assignments you still have to do lesson let me know in the comment section what you guys think especially those of you who are educators if you're watching me please let me know your thoughts do you think that i should actually get a lesson teacher for my kids um they had lesson teacher in nigeria and she could do online with them even though right now i don't think she has like her hands are full I think I'll find someone else. But sometimes I feel like it's overkill for the kids to go to school, come back, do assignments, still have time to do their creative stuff, still have time to play with each other, still have time to help me because I need help. <laughs> I feel like it's overkill to not add lesson. But let me know. And hey, another question. This video has done to sit down video, but whatever. Another question. I need to get bicycles for my kids. I need to get like proper, proper correct bicycles. I don't even care how much it is, but I want them to have like good bicycles. And the reason why I want to do that is because, I mean, they will pass it down. So for Cora and Eva actually is what I'm talking about. Sophia even has one already. We bought that one from Amazon. And normally we like buying things online. So my husband was even about to buy for the kids on Amazon. I was one that stopped him. I was like, no, I don't feel like... Because on Amazon, I mean, you take their measurements and you use their measurement and choose whatever, whatever. But I told him that, no, I feel like we should go to a proper shop where they sell bicycle um bicycles so that my kids can actually i'm sure bicycle scooters all those things so my kids can actually sit on the bicycles we're going to buy for them we'll sit in person they'll sit on it they'll test it and then we'll probably get some inputs from the attendants there or the bicycle experts i don't know how it works here but i'm just saying you know that's what i, I feel is better so i stopped him from buying bicycle from them uh, for them 
Okay, now, yeah, now, where do we go and buy the bicycle? I don't now know. So please, you guys should tell me, where can I buy good, like, what shop has good bicycles for kids? Where we can get, like, consultation of sorts, where the children can sit on the bicycle, will test the helmets, test everything for them, and then they can now learn. Because my kids don't know how to ride um, bicycles without training wheels. They never learned. Me, I don't even know how to ride bicycles at all. I was even telling my husband he would buy for me, join you, because I want to learn how to ride bicycles at old age. But I go learn them, especially this summer. I usually see kids on the roads just riding bicycles by themselves with their friends. They go under the tree, sometimes sit down, do like a mini picnic, and then ride their bicycles back, or just ride around the estate. I even see kids that come to the playground alone in their bicycles, and I wish that for Cora and Eva. However, <laughs> that's been said. I don't know why I don't have the liver for that. When I saw that children think, I'm like, oh nice, they are independent, they are this. But my dear sisters, I don't know if I have the heart to, to, to send my kids out of the house alone, to go to the playground alone. Ha! Let me know if you guys do it, at what age do you allow your kids to go to the playground alone? I know that Cora, if you're in grade 4, you're even allowed to go to school alone, on your own, I think. But I, I, I can't, like... I don't know. Okay, home. Okay, home. I just feel somehow. I feel. I feel. I feel like if I allow them go out on their own, I will not sleep well. I will not even be comfortable at home. Or maybe I should just do it and then follow them secretly. I think I'll do that. I'll do that. One day I'll tell them to go to the playground. I mean, playground is not so far. I'll tell Cora and Eva to go to the playground, and then I will now sneak, sneak uh, somewhere behind them and just be following them. Let me see how they are going to go there. But I still feel like they are too young. Cora is eight, Eva is six. I don't know. I feel like they are young. I feel like Cora should be like 12 <laughs> before I can allow her to go to the playground alone. But I see their age mates come to the playground on their own. Play, play, finish, carry their things and go. I'm like, wow. Your parents are very brave. But they are white children too, Sha. You know, white people are very brave. Forget, forget, we Africans, we can be very, very timid and fearful. Forget. I guess these people are very brave. They are very. They like to explore. They like to do things. Well, that's why they always have some kind of stories to share. But you know, I don't want to live in fear. But I just need a healthy balance. Okay. Um. Then one last thing. Yes. Um. I will just end this vlog after this because this vlog I don't even understand it again. <laughs> it has done to see that video. One last thing. Nazo Eze on youtube or she's on instagram she's on youtube but she's a youtuber now so as it does i featured her on my videos before right yes she has come on my channel before she does um bible yeah bible study for kids on saturdays and my kids have joined twice now and you guys i love you so much now so god will bless you god will keep you god will strengthen you god will see eh? i don't even know how to tell you thank you i don't even know how to encourage your ministry because i'm gonna do that <laughs> i need to encourage your ministry so that you will not change your mind no but seriously she does such a good job she engages the kids in bible study and i always listen from the side child it's not like i listen throughout though but sometimes i'm just passing out just stand and listen she teaches them the way i remember my uh, uh, my teachers in children church right teaching us those days like it's so nostalgic when i hear her voice and the way she talks it just reminds me of when i was growing up and we used to have bible study we even used to have one neighborhood bible club you know at some point i really miss those days so i'm so happy that Nazo is doing it for my kids i wish it was even a physical thing where the kids would go to her house or something and go and do the bible study i just if if we were in america that's what i would be doing uh, i'll be doing the zoom my children will be in the room with you <laughs> no seriously i actually like it now so thank you so much god will always bless you that one is fat right i just love it she does bible study with them my kids love it as well they are engaged and you know let me even admit to i actually like the fact that somebody's engaging my kids for that period of time i use that time to just relax <laughs> It's almost like I got babysitter. I use that time to relax. Not relax, but I use that time to do other things. And nobody's telling me, Mommy this, Mommy that. Mommy, Cora had sneezed at me. Eh, eh, mommy, Eva said no to me. Eh, mommy, eh, eh, Cora looked at me like that. Eh, I'm not hearing any complaints in that. Sometimes, it's, I think it's two hours. I think she spends about, well, roughly about two hours just teaching the children the word of God, you know. You know how to pray that's what the last one they did was how to pray you know go, how god answers prayers and stuff like that you guys it's very very important if you want your kids to join go and follow nazoise on 
Instagram, make sure you follow her. Then on Saturdays, for UK time is five is six PM. I don't know about other countries. I think it's ten AM for for US where she is. I don't know her own time is ten AM. But for UK is six is it six PM or five PM? I can't even remember. Sure. But just go on her page. She always sets reminders. Like she'll tell she'll tell you thirty minutes to Bible study. She does it on her stories. If for some any if for some, if for any reason it's cancelled, she will say it as well. But she has only cancelled once and that's because she had uh, you know an emergency or something. But you know you have to follow her so that you can get these updates then you know in her is it in her in her post or in her stories or a pinned comment a pinned post you'll see the um zoom id and the zoom password and you know and and yeah so that your kids can join i highly 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 recommend it like i highly recommend it um as a parent though i would say try and join so that you hear what she's teaching your kids, right? So that if there's anything that you feel no, that's not correct, or it's not your own doctrine, because people have different doctrines, people have different beliefs. If there's anything you feel is not correct, then you can correct it in your with your kids. You can tell them, oh no, I auntie said this, but you know, yes, what she means is this, but the correct way is this. So yeah, just for you to verify, you know, her teaching, you can just join in, right? But so far so good. I mean, anytime I join in, everything she's saying, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I read the last one. My husband was in the room, and I was hearing her talking. I'm not telling my husband, they hey, that was good. It's good. That like, like Cora, Cora needs to hear that. Cora needs to hear that. Um, so I'm really, really happy about it. Thank you so much, Nazo. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.